Hey guys, welcome to this new item that is called Hidden Finds. And we found a few items here in the studio. We took pictures of it and posted it. And you guys notified me what you wanted to know more about. And that is this for this week. It's called the Touche. Touche is, um, is a product that's made by a French company, Expressive E. I've met them a couple of times, a wonderful company. So what does this thing do, actually? Um, it's a beautiful machine um, and it allows you to go to the bottom, to the left, to the right, to the top. You can tap it, you can slide it, uh, you can slide from left to right uh, at any position here in this thing. And this will result to a bunch of controller data that is coming out of it, eight to be exact. And so I have this program up here that is called LIE. Uh, this is relatively new, so I'm not super familiar with it yet. Um, but the way that it looks like is that you can set up all your controllers here and you can determine where it's going to go to. So this is like the top pad where you can uh, program what that is supposed to do, the bottom pad. And there we have the doorbell. Let's just join outside and see who is there. Unexpected things are always happening here in this, in this building. Let's see. Oh, I think it's a package. Amazon delivery? Thank you very much. You because there's nothing like receiving presents, even when it's not Christmas. And what do we have in here? Let's see what's in here. I think this is um, a small transformer or something. No, hard drives. Beautiful thing, because you need hard drives. Anyway. Let's go back to the touche. So here you set up the various different controllers, the top, the bottom, the left and the right, and you, you, know, you can do more things. Um, so in this case, what's really beautiful here is on the top, it scans basically the, um, the, the synths that you have installed on your synthesizer, and you can click it, and then you can actually access the synthesizer from this window and set up the controllers for the touche for that synth. So at this point, I have Serum uh, uh, selected, the Serum synth. Um, and I see the presets here of uh, Serum on the, on the left, and I can now select them and add these controllers to it. So I have a very simple sound. I set this up for you guys so you can see the quality of this. So this is a very simple sound. It's just a wave, but when I go down this road, I get this sound. And then when I go to the bottom, I get this. So now I can make all these interesting things. So I can play a note and just play rhythms on it. or You can walk to you, it's no problem. Guests are entering the house, walking through the kitchen. It's, uh, it's crazy right now. I don't know what's happening today. It's crazy. Um, so anyway, that's the touche. Um, so it's very powerful what you, what you can do with this box. And um, um, so the way that I used to use it before they came out with this uh, plugin is I would you know, program unique patches in contact or in certain uh, synthesizers to access the parameter, these parameters. But it's absolutely brilliant with this controller, how you, how you control the software, how you can uh, set up. This is a highly anticipated piece of gear. Uh, it also looks beautiful. It comes with all kinds of different covers. So this is like the walnut finish, but you can also get a silver finish and you know all these different types of finishes that you want. And it's the idea that you can be anywhere on this field, down and up, left and right. And here on screen, we see like how sensitive it is. Uh, if, I, if I tap it, uh, I can just tap it with my fingers, like in really weird rhythms. Uh, 
very creative. So this is one sound. I, I could just go through a couple of different sounds and see what um, what this um, this sound does. <laughs> So I highly recommend this incredible piece of gear with the software. You can access most of your synths and just do really, really crazy stuff with it. Um, so the possibilities are endless for this thing, especially in electronic dance music, where you can create really interesting bass lines and you program it. And then with the controller, you're, you're adjusting all these different parameters in your, in your scape, and it makes it very physical. Now in film scoring, especially for sound design, this is great to basically program a pass of MIDI and you're watching the screen and as you're watching the screen, you're, you're playing with this controller. So as you're watching it, you're changing parameters and making it more organic and making it feel more, it's part of the scene and the, and the acting. Um, and then I haven't even tried this yet on, on orchestral libraries because uh, that would in, uh, incorporate a lot of programming to make that work. But boy, I can just see the possibilities where you would assign this to brass or you would assign this to strings and you would trigger different articulations or bring up different layers. So I see this as a very powerful instrument. So normally when I would program strings or brass, I would just like play on my keyboard and then with the mod wheel, I would just like adjust like the, the dynamics and people that have seen more studio times know that I usually do that on my Fader Master by uh, JL Cooper. But what if you had this sitting next to your, your keyboard? So now you're playing a string line and... Obviously we're playing an electronic instrument, but let's say this were strings or brass and all these movements would now impact the parameters of that instrument. Very interesting, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But nevertheless, that's a, a little video about the, about the Touche. Expressive wonderful company for friends. Keep an eye on them. They have very interesting stuff coming out. Uh, and so it was your guys' choice to pick the Touche. We're going to upload more videos and let me know what you like to see more of. Uh, so after this video, I'm actually going to take more pictures. And so we're going to upload as well. And then you can actually uh, tell us what you like to know more of. And we'll shoot another video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you.